Hey beauties and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustler TV. We are back with a new video and today's hair is sponsored by AF Sister Wigs. Now they sent me over this beautiful y'all. The curl pattern is so teen. It's a Burmese curly wig and it is 20 inches long, 200% density. And of course the packaging came with combs, caps, uh, bobby pins, you know, the stuff that you need to do your install. And we're gonna jump straight into this video. As I mentioned, this is a Burmese curly wig. It is a 20 inch, 200% density. It is full 13 by six parting space and of course HD lace. And of course, as usual, the wig came pre-bleached and pre-plucked and AF Sister Wig always does a bomb job when it comes to pre-customization of their wigs and it's always easy to install and the HD lace really melts into your skin, okay? So because the wig did not fit my hairline as much because I have a low hairline, I am going to have to cut, you know, a lot of that pre-plucked area off, but it's not a problem because it's still going to give what it needs to give. And the style that I decided to do was like two, um, you know, cute little fluffy butterfly braids, nothing too crazy with the middle part and some soft, um, fluffy baby hair. So first and foremost, um, I'm just going to add two layers of my adhesive and when that dries clear, I'm going to go ahead and begin to tack down my lace. And once I tack down that lace, of course, I will comb and blow dry it in and then tie it down with the melt belt. So now that that melt belt is off, I'm going to go ahead and just cut the little extra from around my ears. And I don't know, y'all, I feel like I just could not get it off. Like today just felt like no matter how much I cut, it was laying on top of my ear. But eventually I got that extra lace off and my wig was able to lay flat on down. And then I'm going to cut the lace down the middle and just go in with a fresh eyebrow razor. And like I mentioned, because I already have a low hairline, most of the pre-pluckness has to get cut off. But I'm still going to have some pre-pluckness left left afterwards so it was fine it was all good and dandy so just taking my fresh razor i'm going to raise off all the extra lays that i do not need and then when i'm done with that i will go in with some more adhesive and tack down the edges of the lace that's still lifting as well as my sideburns You wanna be my hero? You won't even do the hell. Oh, this shit don't add up. You don't even know the math. Time. Here's your plan. 
So I went ahead and finished tacking that down and I'm just gonna go in with the melt belt again and just tie it down before I actually, you know, spray it with holding spray just so it could really dry all the way. Um, and once I do that, I'm just gonna kind of hot comb out the parting area and start sectioning off how I want my sections to be for where I do my braids and you know my baby hairs and everything like that. But if you notice, even though I did have to cut a lot of lace off, my hairline is still giving pre-pluck because like I mentioned, AF Sister Wig always does their big one when it comes to pre-plucking their lace and bleaching the knots, of course. And these are invisible knots, so you do not see the knots on this wig. They're very, very, very small knots, and like I said, the wig does come pre-bleached. So I just love a wig I could just, you know, take out the box and just install. Like, it just makes my job so much more easier, and that's why I love working with AF Sister Wigs. But um, I'm just gonna go ahead and like pre-section out my areas and then once I remove that melt belt, I will go more into depth of as far as, you know, sectioning out my baby hairs and creating my braid and, you know, making it butterfly and all of that. So now I am sectioning off the area for my baby hairs and like I mentioned I will be doing some light little fluffy baby hairs very soft um, but other than that I'm just gonna go ahead and you know part off the section in the back of the lace area so I can kind of add some wax and sleek it back and then I'm gonna add wax in this area and sleek it up before I actually braid it and what I love most about this wig it did not take much to get this wig flat like it was so so soft y'all like the wig is so soft and just easy to hot comb like you don't even have to add too much product to get it to lay down and this like already flat and smooth so that made my installation process easier this has to be the first time in a long time that i installed a wig that did not frustrate me it just felt like the install and the styling just came so much easier today than it normally would but uh nevertheless add that wax stick and we're going to slick up that area and then i'm going to go ahead braid it add a rubber band to the end and fluff it out to make it butterfly
now that I have secured the end with a rubber band, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the braid apart and that's how you make it butterfly. Well, that's how I do it. It's easier for me to do it that way. Some people go one side at a time and pull out little loops, but me personally, y'all, I just spread it from the bottom all the way to the top and just work my way all the way up to the front of the braid until I get it to the desired width that I want it and messiness and fluffiness or whatever. And then I'm just gonna take some got to be and just smooth the area um, in the middle where the braid is. And then I'm just going to take a bobby pin and just kind of secure that down. And basically everything I did to this side, I am going to complete on the other side off the camera because it is just a repetition. I'm just doing one thing to the other side. And boom, that's going to be that. But then I also noticed right here that my sideburn lifted up in the corner over there. So I am going to go ahead and take that down because, yeah, that side was trying to piss me off today. But whatever. It, I mean, once I spray it, it's going to be, you know, what it is, what it is, whatever. Because the wig was a little too small as far as, like, in my ear area. So, I just tried my best to make it work. But, nevertheless, ain't nothing a little glue hold the spray combination ain't going to fix. So, I'm just fluffing my braid out, smoothing it out. And now, I'm just going to take all the areas where my baby hairs is pulled down, put them together, take some got to be spray, spray it, and then tie it down with the nail belt for the third time today in this install. And while that melt belt is sitting, I'm just gonna take the uh, foundation and just line up my parting area really quick. Um, it'd be hard doing this part on myself, y'all. I don't know. It's just like sometimes I feel like it'd be too big, too wide, too strong, won't fit in the parting area. But I'd be like, you know what? Whatever. I'm not gonna sit here and kill myself. I know, um, you know, little part or whatever. We just gonna make it do what it do as long as it ain't just like part in the red see why, you know. But it worked. It worked. It worked. And I ran out of black spray to even like smalling it up. But it is what it is. But now we remove that melt belt. We're gonna go ahead and get into these baby hairs and like i said y'all i just want like a nice little soft fluffy baby hair look so i'm just going to go ahead and comb out the holding spray that's on the edges and go in with the scissors cut it down nice and angled and you know just sweep it up using the holding spray like i do Now there's many different methods that people do to do their fluffy baby hair. Some people like to use mousse and you know do the mousse method and dry it and then come back and comb it out and all of that. Me personally, y'all listen. I just do mine with a little holding spray and you don't have to spray it down so perfectly like just enough to kind of mold the root part and I just kind of let like the ends flow free 
and because I already have this low behind hairline like it feels like my um you know my what it's called baby hairs is touching my brows but I am going to clip it down just a little bit more okay and yeah just keep soup until I like the way it looks and it feels all soft and soft looking and you know after I trim it up but yeah it's going to give what it's supposed to give period And then I did this, you know, side as well, but I wanted to do like a little, you know, curved um, baby hair towards the front of my baby hair in my temple area. I didn't want to do it directly the same as the other one. Just wanted to add a little pizzazz, pizzazz, pizzazz. And like I said, to make it fluffy, just add the holding spray towards the root and just kind of let the ends fly free. So it don't have to be like super stuck to the forehead, but you know, it do need to be in a nice formation. And now I'm going to go in with my water bottle and spray this Burmese curly wig on up. And when I tell y'all, the curls is so, 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 so cute. Absolutely loving. And y'all know I love me a curly wig. I am a curly wig curly. So, therefore, this wig was so pretty. It was A1. Absolutely love it. And I'm just taking some water and rubbing my fingers through it. It is so soft, y'all. When I say soft, I mean soft. And I'm just going to wet both sides. And then I'm going to give y'all a 360. And this is what the hair looks like now that I am done. When I tell y'all this curl pattern is so full, it's so pretty. I absolutely love it. I love how my baby hairs came out. Nice, soft, and fluffy. And my two little butterfly braids. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, this hair is from AF6 The Wig. Don't forget to check out the description details down below. Bye! Hold on.